first question up, what is going on with Hedgic? Not moving, any thoughts? Thanks. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so Bill, maybe if you could pull up and do TN on Hedgic. Uh, if we if we go into token metrics and look at the visual trends indicator, we do see that the low frequency indicator has turned bearish on Hedgic, dating all the way back in Feb. And pretty much nothing has happened since then. So not sure if there's any lack of news or anything like that, but definitely uh, something to be cautious of. Uh, Bill, let me know when you're ready in terms of uh, TA. Now, I think the space is also getting very, very saturated because uh, there are lots of other projects that, that are entering the space that are also doing options uh, on, on DeFi. For example, there's Siren, which was a project I personally invested in. Uh, I'm bullish on that one based on the code review. Uh, but the space is getting crowded. There's also Charm Finance, there's uh, OPM and, and a few others. So the space is getting very, very crowded. And I think that could also be a factor, but uh, I've not really kept kept up in terms of uh, any news on the project. So pu pulling this up here on, on my screen, if we look at all these competing projects in the space, Hedgeck, according to CoinGecko, has the highest market cap. Okay, yeah, so looking at this, Hedgeck has a market cap of about 100 million. Uh, the second closest is anti Antimatter, which has 50 million. And then Saren, the project I mentioned earlier, at $15 million market cap. But the space is pretty crowded. Um, and I think people are just going where the money is. And right now, there hasn't really been any money uh, in the option space uh, in terms of ROI. So I think uh, currently in a bull run, people have been floating to what's sexy. Uh, first, any comments in, uh, on on uh, Hedgeck? Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna echo exactly what you said. The space is getting really crowded. Um, just looking in when I review, you know, fifty projects a week. There's always a couple of uh, DeFi options protocols in there that haven't even launched yet. It's getting saturated and very competitive. And now I haven't actually tested any of these. Um, haven't tested out Hedgic or Antimatter in terms of actually going on there and trading options to see how their user experience is. But if the if the transaction fees right now are too high, uh, and there's not institutions that are you know you know able to to soak up those transaction fees, and it's just um, you know regular people with smaller portfolios that are trying to trade options, they're probably just going to flow over to a centralized um, option like options platform like Deribit or something that's uh, more robust. I'm not sure if the the user experience on these platforms. Uh, are are ready yet uh, for people to actually use them at a large scale. That would be my main concern. All right, thank you, Forrest. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.